Hey, welcome back friends, Mark here. If you watch my channel for a bit, you know that I enjoy reviewing forestry tools and outdoor gear and gadget type items for firewood processing. And you may notice right here, I've got a big pile of limbs. And I'm also gonna show you another pile picture of that so you can see. And that's my big project right now is to take care of those limbs and safely cut them. I don't really enjoy using a chainsaw and trying to cut them on the ground because it dulls the blade. So I found a product, actually the Truncator, 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. The company in Northwest England in the UK, my friends are 3,600 miles northeast of here, mostly east, across the big pond. And they sent me a product to review and it hasn't really come to the US yet. So I'm gonna do a video review of it and go through and give you my final results and just you know an overall demonstration. So let's take a close up look at the item and I'll talk through it and I'll show you how it works. Here's a label on the end of one of the boxes. So what they shipped me is the Truncator 6. And this is what I believe to be the largest size that they make. So you can lay several limbs in this and safely and quickly cut them with your chainsaw. So let's open the boxes and check it out. All right, I'm opening up the heavier of the two boxes. This has all the galvanized metal and the two by tens, I believe they're two by tens, boards in them. They, they come in two separate pieces, so they splice together on top of the main trussle assembly that I'm taking out right now. This has the, the plate on top with several holes so you can run the screws up from the bottom into the boards and then the bottom are where the uh, feet bracing go and there's a composite foot there's four of those and then all the screws you need. And here's the other box. This has all the tipping cups in it. All right, you can see they're on a piano hinge. All right, so I'd like to talk a little bit about the assembly of this. It came in two large boxes, and I think it went together really well. It's pretty easy. It has everything that you need, the bolts, the screws, and it comes with six tipping cups, and each cup requires four screws that are mounted down onto the board. And one of the things they have to do is figure out what width you want to cut your firewood to, and then adjust your tipping cups that. So like for instance I cut my firewood at 16 inches which I think is a little bit longer than a lot of the European um, firewood that they cut. If you see the truncator video you see the cups a lot closer together and they probably cut like 9 to 12 inch logs and a face cord is typically 16 inches so I had to put about 9 inches in between each tipping cup which is more than what they recommend but we're going to see how it works. That might work might work out well. Um, I wasn't able to fit all six tipping cups on their board, which I think is somewhere around 71 inches. So if I wanted to make that a little wider, I could pick up another board from a local lumber yard, which would be pretty cheap, and just add another you know, like 10 inches to it. And then I, I think that trestle would support it. But for now, I think most of my limbs aren't going to be much longer than that. I think that'll work well. So I'll, I'll run with five tipping cups and just keep this one off to the side for right now and see how it works. There's a pin in each leg. You can take those out and raise it up or down. And you can see it's nice and lightweight and portable. You can bring it to your work instead of bringing your limbs to the sawhorse. Let's get some measurements. The bottom plate is about seven inches by seven inches. Height, eight and a half inches. Overall length of this is 70.5 inches. I'm ready to test this out and I'm really excited. It looks like a great setup. I have a wheelbarrow, chainsaw, I'm gonna go get my safety gear on and we're gonna get cutting. So let's test it out. All right, thumbs up, ready to go. I got all the safety gear on. I have my chaps on. I've got my face guard, the helmet, the ear protection, eye protection. All right, I'm loading up the limbs. And some of these limbs have, like that one for instance, has some branches that come off from it. 
so it's not nice and straight. So since this is my very first time using it, I decided to run with just three branches instead of four. Because I have no idea how this works. So I'm going to twist the branch into place so they're kind of locked in. And now I'm taking the bungee cord in the middle to help secure it. Now my chainsaw is really not that sharp. I, I didn't realize this at the time of making the video. So if I had it to do over, I would start off with a nice sharp chain. But I am cutting oak limbs here so they the saw doesn't go through them quite as easy as it would for um, white pine or something for instance. So a sharp chain would go through these limbs like butter. Alright, still not that bad. So I cut through all of them, bringing the wheelbarrow up, dumping each cup into it. And the gap of 9 inches in between the two seems to be fine. I'm a little bit close with the wheelbarrow to the tipping cup, so I'm realizing I could probably be a few inches further away, just so All the right. cups don't wheelbarrow full. interfere with Try it again. the logs. Now I have the second time going through testing this out. I'm going to put four limbs instead of three. I work my way up a little bit. The third one they're all pretty good size as you can see this one is a little bit longer and i get everything lined up into position just twist it around a little bit and then run the bungee cord over it secures onto a special clip and now we're ready to fire the saw up Second one. I noticed I did nick the truncator board a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be like that big of a deal at all. I, I skipped over and went to the end. Just I thought I would test that out, see how that works. So instead of going in a sequence all the way from the one end to the other, see if it's okay to skip over. And yes, the thumbs up. It seems to work out fine. Take the bungee cord off, and this time I had the wheelbarrow a couple inches further away, so the tipping cups don't really seem to interfere and get locked on to the wood. Alright my friends, so this concludes my video review of the Truncator Sawhorse made in the UK. So far it's really working out great, I give it a definite thumbs up. If I had to make one recommendation I'd say maybe make wider tipping cups for the US market. But so far, even though my gap is a little more than what you recommend, it's working out well. The logs, just as you can see, they dump right into the wheelbarrow. And I think a nice uh, work crew would be like having two more people. One person bringing limbs to me here, another person running the wheelbarrow, and me doing the cutting. So I think you could go through a stack of limbs in no time. All right, so that concludes my video review. If you Enjoy it, please get a thumbs up and help support my channel. And if you own one or you have some thoughts, please put your comments down below. I'd like to hear that. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching my friends. See you next time. Okay friends, if you like this video, you might like a few other ones there to the right. Click on those. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that red button down below. And check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right, my friends, enjoy.